we are uh, deep in the mountain. We are making a video to the track called Carving a Giant from the album Ad Maiorum, Sotalus Glorium. Uh, and we are uh, remaking the live show we did in Poland in 2000, February 2004. This is the first time we ever released a music video. We've always been very skeptical using TV. In general, we distrust people. But this time we talked to Tommy Ness here in Bergen. My name is Tommy Ness. I'm the, the director of uh, this scoreboard video. The way I got in touch with him was through the SOG video uh, called Godless Faith. So he produced that and I was really satisfied with what he did because that was it. Uh, actually a very lo-fi. We, we didn't have much money creating that video and for very little money he created a, a, a video we were at that time, very satisfied with it. So, uh, when we talked about doing this Gorgoth video, we have been contacted by people all over the world actually who wants to create a Gorgoth video. And after talking to Tommy Ness, uh, we found out that he was actually the right guy for making this video. We have, of course, worked close to him in this process, creating this video. and presenting our ideas and he has also read lots about the band and our ideas and got under the surface. I basically got into Gorgoroth because I've done two videos before which uh, King plays in two different bands, Audrey Horn and Sog. And he introduced me to Gorgoroth and I, I'm a photographer too so I have taken some pictures of him and I got pretty much in interested in the um, image group. We wanted to uh, try to recreate what Gorgor did on stage in Poland, um, I think a couple of years ago. And um, when all the film and everything was confiscated by the police, because it was too heavy for the Polish people. We were accused for blasphemy or something like that. And the tapes are still with the police in Poland. This uh, paragraph in Norway, has been, which has been sleeping more or less for 100 years, you know, so we didn't consider it. We, we thought of freedom of speech, everything, it's, it, it didn't cross our mind because we used effects and everything that's been used several times before, so we didn't suspect anything to happen, you know. So we just tried to make the best possible show uh, we were able to do. I think it's very interesting, the makeup and all that, just this uh, graphic concept. And when I start talking about naked people on the cross and sheep heads and you just start thinking and I see everything in red and black and white and this furious thing so for me this video and I think it's also what they want to say it's their attack or it's a God's attack on Christianity in a way and I see this as the counterpart to Christianity this is his answer so I'm trying to get some of that rage out that's that he stands for or they stand for. We have lots of sheep heads, crucified models, males, females, uh, lots of fireworks, barbed wire, blood, everything is place. In my work, I try to be work very creative. And this music video, I had, I had to uh, go into myself a little bit. They are models. Two of them are coffin case girls. They come from Sweden and take the journey here to Norway for being crucified on crosses. It feels like uh, maybe it's a stupid thing to say, but when you can't be a part of a band, you are out there on the stage doing something else. So it's really fun to take part in the rock and roll metal scene. For me, this thing is art. That's basically, you know, it. Nothing is present on stage without a reason. Admiral Jorn Satan's Corona was released one year ago. And uh, it's rather bad timing, actually. Uh, creating a video one year after our album release 
Uh, but at that time when we released the album, uh, the, mem the other members of the band uh, were in prison, so uh, we had to wait. And now everybody is free again, so we are able to, to shoot the video now.